What's up everybody, welcome to the garage. I've got some brand new 2023 Bindi Branches paddles to show you guys today. So we're gonna go hit the water and check them out. Okay, so what's new with Benny Branches for 2023? First off, the new Angler Drift. This is an aluminum shaft paddle with a composite ferrule. So most aluminum paddles use an aluminum ferrule and you'll feel quite a bit of movement and flex in them. Not here. This features the same heavy duty construction on the blade, fiberglass fitting, aluminum shaft, a little bit of an ovalize on the grips here. But the biggest thing is you get the bending branches construction and quality and blade shape that you'd find on their much more expensive paddles, but now in an aluminum option. This also comes in the electric green color, which I think looks pretty dang sharp. And this was coming in at 119. So for an entry level fishing paddle, I feel like this is a really good value. You're getting a lot of performance for a very reasonable price. And if you guys wanna know the prices and the stats on all these paddles, I'm gonna put those in the description below. I don't wanna get too hung up on that, but I know some of you wanna take a deep dive and I'll definitely have that information down below. Next up, we have the Angler Classic. This one is the push button ferrule. So this paddle is gonna come in a few different options. The push button ferrule here, you see the little hook retrieval, line retrieval system. So again, same blade shape as we saw on the Manta Ray, high angle, aggressive, powerful smooth through the water. And then lastly, we have the adjustable ferrule, 15 centimeter adjustments on this guy. So again, if I'm in a high low kayak and I'm in the high position, I can extend it out. If I'm in the low position, I can bring it in. So I'm always having the optimal paddle length for the kayak I'm in. Thank you guys for doing this. We've been asking for this for so long. I'm so excited about this. This paddle is also gonna come in the Angler Ace model, which is a full carbon shaft, carbon reinforced nylon blades, same hook retrieval, same adjustable feather if you wanna go that route. So an overall lighter and stiffer option uh, for those that want a little bit more performance out of their paddle. All in all, huge upgrade for the Angler line. I'm really excited to see Benny Branches really lean into this line of paddles because this is where most people find themselves. If they're getting into the sport and they're buying you know, an upgraded paddle, this is a great, great place for them to go. Another thing to talk about is all these paddles come with an oval grip. So when I'm holding this in my hand, I can close my eyes and index myself into the paddle. I can also adjust my feather angle to really any degree that I want, lock that in. And then another thing that makes it the angler model is you've got the fish measuring stick. This isn't tournament legal, you guys, but it gives you a rough idea. Like, hey, if my fish needs to be over 22 inches, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Now what could screw you up is if you're in the high seat position, your fish suddenly gets shorter. But I think you guys will be able to figure that out and work around it. Now we got all the details out of the way. Let's go for a paddle, check these things out. I'll give you my feedback on how they go. And uh, we're gonna have a little adventure up here in Southern Oregon today. So now I'm checking out the angler drift. This is Benny Branch's newest paddle with the aluminum shaft. It's got the same exact blade shape. And it feels great. You know, the only thing that, the only downside to aluminum really is the fact that it can be hot to the touch when it's hot and cold to the touch when it's cold. And it's a little heavier. But all in all, you get the same performance benefit, same stiffness in the blade. And the biggest thing is the ferrule. It doesn't knock around or feel loose like a lot of aluminum blades do. You know, if you're in a kayak shop and they've got a cheap $59 paddle, you should pick it up and feel it. And then feel this one. There's just no flex. There's no wiggle to it. It feels like a solid one-piece paddle. So, Benny Branch has did a great job on this. If you're trying to save some money but still get a high-value product, this is definitely something I'd recommend. But realistically, like if I'm going to spend $119, i am probably going to splurge and go for the fiberglass just because the fiberglass is going to be a little bit lighter weight, and then also it doesn't get as cold or warm to the touch. Like out here today in this water, this water is, I don't know, 40 degrees, 42 degrees, and uh, you feel the coldness through your hands. Whereas you just don't notice that as much with carbon fiber or fiberglass. So next up, I'm gonna check out the Angler Classic, and this is the one with the adjustable ferrule. This paddle goes from 240 to 255, so in the low seat, I'm gonna run it at the 240. And the biggest difference I see between this and the aluminum is, is just what I mentioned, gentler to the touch. It's like your body heat has a way of warming up a fiberglass shaft. Uh, the blade feels obviously identical, same blade. But the overall paddle feels significantly lighter, like it has a lighter swing weight. Even though it has more material in the center with that longer adjustable shaft, it still feels significantly lighter. Let's take it for a spin. 
Yeah, I like that smooth back face. Feels real supportive. It doesn't feel like it wants to dive or do anything different. Phew. You know, when you're moving these big, heavier fishing kayaks around, the bigger blade is really nice. It takes power to move these boats around. And so a little bit bigger blade is kind of what you want. And what I like about the new Classic is it's still a big blade, very powerful, but it's actually smaller than the old blade by a couple of square inches. What they did is they made the blade stiffer. They gave it more of a defined dihedral, which is that center line that gives it grip in the water. And then a really wide tip here. So it's a nice high angle. When it catches the water, it has a good initial grip. Really, really like this new paddle. I definitely think it's a nice upgrade from the old one. The old one, I mean, it worked for me, but it was not a paddle I would actually go use. I wasn't really excited about it. The way this feels and handles in the water is a lot more what I'm used to. It's gonna try to speed up here a little bit and see how it feels. Definitely more than enough power. Once I'm up to speed, I can just sort of ease off it a little bit, find my cadence, find my rhythm. I can't stress what an upgrade this feels like compared to the old one. One area these paddles sometimes struggle is when you're doing like draw strokes. You know, sometimes nylon blades don't have the same grip in the water. So I wanted to test the Bendy Branches paddle in a fishing kayak because I feel like this is really what it was designed for. A big blade to move a big boat, long paddle, adjustment. You know what we didn't try? I need to try it in the high seat real quick. Okay, so this boat has a high-low adjustment. Cool. Whoa, I'm way up here now. So here's the deal. Now I've raised my seat, and if I were to take a paddle, I'm only getting about half the paddle in the water. Same angle, it's just, I need more length. So now I can flip the button, extend this thing out up to 15 centimeters. Look at that. That's what you're looking for. You want that blade fully submerged in the water. You don't want to submerge any shaft. I see a lot of people that get a fishing kayak and get like a 260, and then I see them paddling like this with half the shaft in the water. What you want is you want to bury the face, but not more than that. Because if you're doing more than that, now you're just adding extra leverage to your body and your joints. So the adjustment is a really nice feature for that. Well, let's give this a shot. Oh, this feels like a lounge chair up here. I like the fact that I can change my seat position and just dial in my paddle to the boat as opposed to having to kind of readjust my stroke just to get the, uh, you know, the, the right feel. So that was a nice upgrade. Good job, Benny Branches. I like this a lot and I think you guys are gonna dig it too. Thanks so much for paddling with us today. Definitely enjoyed checking out the new paddle. If you're looking for an entry level kayak fishing paddle, this is definitely a great place to start. If you have any more questions, do me a favor, leave those down in the comments below. And until next time, this is Dan wishing you happy paddling. We'll see you on the next one.